Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the solved problem based on the compensation theorem contained AC circuit. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the problem. In the network shown in diagram A, the 5 ohm resistor is changed to 8 ohm resistor. Determine the change in current through 3 plus J4 ohm impedance. So this is the two networks available. Network A, network B. This is the original network. 10, 10 voltage with 0 degree voltage source is available. 5 ohm and one inductor J5 ohm and one more resistor and inductors are connected in series. 3 ohm and J4 ohm. The problem is this 5 ohm is now changed to 8 ohm. So in the compensation theorem, if the change is any change in the resistor value, what will happen? There is a opposing voltage or current will be produced. That can be identified by compensation voltage, Vc. This Vc will give the opposing voltage or current. See the current direction, it is opposing. right? So while changing the resistor value, we need to identify what is the opposing voltage given that is given by compensation voltage. Then how to find this compensation voltage? V equal to I into R. I is nothing but the current flowing in the original circuit. The R is nothing but delta R, change in resistor. 5 ohm changed to 8 ohm. So 8 minus 5, 3 ohm. The change in resistor is 3 ohm. Right? So this is the original circuit. The resistor is changed. Due to that, there is opposing voltage that is given by compensation voltage Vc. This Vc can be calculated as I into delta R. I is nothing but current in the original circuit. R is delta R is nothing but change in resistor. So first step we need to find what is the current in the original circuit. So that we can find Vc. And one more question is asked current through the 3 plus J4 ohm. Right. So first we will find the current. From that we will find Vc. From that we can find the resistor uh, current flowing through this uh, 3 plus J4 4 ohm resistor. Right. What is the current flowing through this uh, network A? I equal to V by R. Right. R. What is the R value? These two are connected in series. This R, 3 R, resistor and inductor. That is parallel with this J5 ohm inductor. That is series with this uh, 5 ohm resistor. Right. So 5 plus J5 into 3 plus J4. Right. So this is these two are connected in parallel in this these two are connected in series. So while referring the network B, see this while network B the original the, the original source is removed. We have to remove the original source. If it is voltage source short circuited, current source mean open circuited. Then we have to add the compensated voltage where the resistor is changed. There we have to add the compensation voltage. Right. What is the impedance in this network? It is very similar. These two are connected in uh, series. That is in parallel with J5 ohm. That is series with the 8 ohm. Here 5 ohm, here 8 ohm. That is the only change. 5 ohm is changed to 8 ohm. This combination is remain same. Right. So we will now, now we will first find the network A. We will find what is the current, what is the total impedance in that circuit. So the total impedance connected to the source referring A, we already discussed 5 plus this inductor and capacitor, this resistor and inductor connected in series that is parallel with the one more inductor R1 into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. R1 is J5 inductor, R2 is resistor plus inductor J plus 3 plus J4 divided by R1 plus R, R2. So 5 plus J5 into 3 plus J4, we can add this. 3 plus this J4 and J, J5 and J4 can be added. The J9. Right. Now, we have to convert this polar form. This is the rectangular form. Should be converted into polar form. For addition, rectangular form will easier. For multiplication and division, the polar form is needed. So, the J5 is nothing but Magnitude is 5, every j refers 90 degree. j means 90 degree. j square means 180 degree. Right. Then how to convert this rectangular form 3 plus j4? This is magnitude and angle. Magnitude is nothing but square root of 3 square plus 4 square. Real term square plus imaginary term square. Square root of 3 square plus 4 square is 25. So square root of 25 is 5. Then this 
angle tan inverse 4 by 3 imaginary term divided by real term tan inverse 4 by 3 it is 53.1 degree right so this rectangular form is converted into polar phi by using this formula uh, magnitude phi with an angle of 53.1 degree similarly we can find this 3 plus j9 3 square plus 9 square 9.487 then tan inverse 9 by 3, 9 by 3 71.6 degree. So this rectangular form now converted into polar form 9.487 with an angle of 71.6 degree. Now we can go for simplification. So in this simplification, so this all are converted into polar form. So multiply, we can multiply these two 5 into 5 divided by 9.487 that is 2.635. These angles are added. Multiplication means 90 plus 51.1. Divided means from that subtract 71.6. That is 90 plus 51.1 minus 71.6. That is 71.5. Right. Now it is this is 5 plus. Now it is available in polar form. Where addition we need again need to convert into rectangular form. How to convert this formula is available. This is magnitude, this is angle. Magnitude into cos of angle 71.5 plus j into magnitude into sine of angle 71.5. This is a formula, right? A cos theta plus j a sin theta. That is the value. A is nothing but magnitude. 71.5 is angle, right? Magnitude into cos of theta plus j into magnitude into sine of theta. Right? So, by simplifying, we got 0.836 plus j 2.5. Now, we can easily add this. We can add these two values. Right? 5 plus 0.836, that is 6.836 right? plus j, j 2.5. So, this value is 1.836. So, that 5 plus 1.83, 6.836 plus j 5. Again, this is in rectangular form. Should be converted into polar form. Right? How to convert the square root of 6.836 plus 2.5 square. Right? We have to take the square root and real and imaginary terms are squared and added. It is 6.349. Angle is calculated as tan inverse B by A. Imaginary term divided by real term. Imaginary term is 2.5. Real term 6.837. So, angle is 23.2. So, the total impedance of your network A is 6.349 with an angle 23.2 degree of impedance ohm. Now, we calculated the total impedance. From that, we can calculate the current flowing through the circuit, thereby compensation voltage. So, the current source current I through the 5 ohm resistor is I equal to V by R. V is 10, 10 voltage with angle 0 degree. The R is impedance that what we calculated 6.349 angle 23.2. So 10 divided by 6.49 is 1.575. Angle is here 0, 0 minus 23.2. So that is minus 23.2. Divided mean we have to subtract the angle. So the current value is 1.575 with an angle minus 23.2 degree. From this we can calculate the compensated voltage. So, what is the change in change in resistor? 5 ohm is changed to 8 ohm. So, that change in resistor delta I R is nothing but 8 minus 5, 3 ohm. From that we can calculate Vc. Vc equal to I into delta R, dr. I is nothing but this value. 1.575 with an angle 23.2 degree. Change in resistor 3. Right. So, we can multiply these two. 4.725 with an angle 23.2. 2 degree. So, we calculated one value, compensated voltage. Next, we need to find what is the current flowing through the network, the one more network 3 plus J4 ohm. For that, we need to refer the network B. So, this dependent voltage source to be connected with R plus DR 8 ohm resistor. What we calculated, compensated voltage is connected in series with 8 ohm resistor. Keeping, keeping only this voltage source and remaining Original source in the circuit is shown in network B. That is the original source is removed. Only we need to connect the compensated voltage. 
from this diagram the changes in various branches due to change in 5 ohm to say 8 ohm resistor is calculated so now referring the diagram b again we need to calculate the total impedance because we need to find the current through the j plus 3 plus j4 ohm resistor so that z z equal to only change here 8 ohm initially here 5 ohm is there in previous referring the uh, diagram b it is 8 ohm referring diagram a Di diagram A is 5 ohm resistor. So, this part is remain same. So, what we calculated 8.836 8, 8 plus J 2.5. So, 8 plus 8.36 plus J 2.5. So, it is 9.2. This again this rectangular form is converted into polar form. Right. So, square root of 8.836 square plus 2.5 square that is 9.2 tan inverse b by a 2.5 divided by 8.836 is 15.8 degree right so we calculated total impedance 9.2 with an angle 15.8 degree right so only this 8 is changed previously in the diagram a it is 5 this value is remain same so from that we can calculate the current the total current in the circuit i equal to v by r v is 4.725 with an angle 23.2 that is the compensated voltage what we calculated earlier divided by total impedance of the network B this is the total impedance of network B so these two is divided 4.725 divided by 9.2 that is 0.515 angle how to calculate minus 23.2 minus 15.8 you have to subtract these two angles already here minus is there so minus minus totally it will 39 you have to minus 23.2 minus 15.8 is minus 39 degree so we calculated the current also the current the total current now we need to calculate current through the 3 plus j4 ohm resistor that how will you calculate this by the current divider rule total current multiplied by other branch impedance divided by total impedance right so the we need to find 3 plus j4 ohm resistor one more inductor is available j5 the current is divided through 3 plus j4 and j5 so that other branch impedance is j5 divided by total impedance so while simplifying this is the total current j5 divided by 3 plus j9 this j5 is nothing but 5 angle 90 degree j means 90 degree 3 plus j9 is converted here by using the formula this is a rectangular to polar form square root of 3 square plus 9 square 9.489 tan inverse b by a 9 by 3 is 71.6 degree now everything available in polar form so these two should be multiplied 0.515 into 5 divided by 9.487 that is 0.271 then angle is these two angles should be added from that you have to subtract already here minus is there so minus 39 plus 90 minus 71.6 so this value is minus 20.6 ampere now we calculated the current through the 3 plus j4 ohm resistor so that we can find one more value this current flows in 3 plus 4 ohm resistor in diagram b from bottom to top from bottom to top, opposing in opposing direction so the change in current delta i is this value point 271 with an angle 20 minus 20.6 degree ampere so in this problem we changed the resistor due to that compensation voltage is calculated thereby current flowing through the branch is calculated that is nothing but the change in current subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening